Hello everyone, my name is Charlotte Chen and the garden I designed is called um, Slow Motion. The idea is came from my personal experience as uh, we are really busy not only in academic study but also daily life that uh, really advocates efficiency. The so stress I felt day by day really makes me want to slow down a little bit to feel the nature. So I hope my design can bring the idea as well. My site is uh, Carousel Sentinel Park in Vancouver, and it is located near a really busy road called West 41st Avenue, along with a uh, community center. It has um, residential buildings, single family houses, and, and also a beautiful greenway nearby. The contour map have uh, showing the side is slightly sloped um, and the soil smells fresh when I visit the site. And the site has buildings at all directions. A residential can look out to the site on higher floor uh, while people in community center can directly see through the window. So during a site visit, I found the out outer boundary of the site was covered with evergreen trees and shrubs. And while inner area had mostly, <clears throat> sorry, distributed trees plant in the area, there are several um, cherry blossom trees in the area, which um, I really want to uh, include in my design when I first visited to the site. And this is the site uh, context map I made after uh, the site visiting. So under the COVID nineteen situation, um, students are a big group of big group of people that are experiencing mental health issues. Um, and according to 19, uh, 20, 2018 BC reports, more students said they have suffered from anxiety disorder and panic attacks. And uh, there's more students reported that they are missing classes because of mental health challenges. And they are too anxious that uh, to participate in activities. Moreover, um, Vancouver have four months in winter with heavy rainfall. We have midterm and final exam periods are in the rain season. Seasonal anxiety along with high pressure of academic study will increase the level of anxiety or even depression among students. Based on the accessible map uh, made from Vancouver, um, we can, there are three main schools nearby the Carousel Sentinel Park, which are with a 400 meter access to public green space. So, um, Carousel Sentinel Park could be a place that uh, students can have uh, easy access to. Based on um, the attention restorative, restorative theory, in the form of soft fascination, landscape have the capacity of leaving room for people's thoughts and uh, self-reflection, thus helps people to restore from mental illness in um, my case is anxiety attacks among students. So um, I really, um, my design statement is I want to create, uh, create a garden where natural motion provides students with relief and peace. Um, the, uh, I have three motions in idea. So first one is plant movement, uh, which uh, includes flowing flowers, uh, with wind in spring, leaves swaying with wind in summer. And uh, the second motion is wildlife movement, including butterflies, hummingbirds, squirrels. And uh, the idea is to create a pollinator friendly garden. Uh, the third motion I thought is water features. Um, the basically is uh, the collecting water from the rooftop of the community center and to provide a water sound in the garden. So I start to lay out different zones in my area. As you can see, I have uh, changed 
several times of the range of my design. So considering to connect to the, uh, the existing access as much as possible, I finally decided to uh, include the whole green space. So here is the color code zoning of my uh, design. So we have um, the flying butterflies and hummingbirds in the center and surrounded by the Russell leaf zones. And we also have falling flowers and rain garden on the north and south. And also include a buffer zone to a uh, commuter center. So uh, imagine students came from east, uh, east, east side as uh, the schools are located that direction. Uh, students want to hang out with friends can uh, take use of the uh, Russell and Leaves area and also falling flower areas to have an open space to chat or have a picnic. And while hummingbirds and flying butterflies can provide a private area that's surrounded by flowers and cute wildlife in spring. While the rain garden can provide uh, the water features as well as the sense of uh, water sound and uh, the, the motion of uh, water flowing uh, through the site. Here's uh, the, the different layer of my uh, plant. And in the section, we can see um, there are uh, areas for groups of students and also private areas for uh, students that really want to be alone. And also um, residents, residents on a higher floor can have a view of the general uh, park. And this is uh, the east-west section of the park. Um, so I include uh, the buffer zone to the community center. And also we have uh, hummingbirds and flying butterfly zone considering on a pollinator friendly garden and also the rustling uh, leaf zones that can provide uh, plant movement. So here is the spec uh, perspectives I have. Um, so uh, this is show this shows uh, students that want private area in the garden. So they are they are surrounded by uh, hummingbird friendly uh, flowers. I include uh, the yellow versus uh, purple color palette to create more. Um, a beautiful view in the garden. And this is uh, the rustling leaves zones that to provide um, a group of students to hang out. Um, and also I include uh, hazelnut trees and also oak trees to give uh, squirrels a habitat to jump in and also uh, picking their food. Um, this is the platin platted I have. And then also include a balloon time uh, diagram, trying to include as much as uh, seasonal interest as I could. Yeah, here's the poster I have, basically this. Thank you.